much with Utah's first winter storm of the season on its way. It's time to get ready for the cold. Yeah, ready or not, Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree spoke with experts about preparing your lawns and gardens before the snowflakes fall. These are the final days to winterize. Today, tomorrow, while it's still nice, go out there and get a nice watering on your plant so it has enough time to take that up into the system so they have a little more protection for the cold. Ryan Glover recommends tending to your plants now before the cold comes. Vegetable gardens, tomatoes, pepper, stuff like that, if they haven't pulled them out, it's easier to do it before they freeze and turn to mush. It may even be our last chance to enjoy the fall colors. It's the one thing that may happen to some of the, the trees and things like that is uh, it may freeze some of the leaves. Um, so you may miss out on some fall color if they haven't turned yet. Well, we don't traditionally think of winter as the gardening season. Glover says when the cold hits, it's actually a great time to plant a tree. Roots keep growing and then also you don't need to, uh, when you drive them around, you know, you, you don't damage the leaves and stuff like that. So it's actually a nice time of year. Our lawns are resilient, but our sprinkler systems, not so much. It could freeze over. I mean, it's a potential that it could freeze and crack and, and flood areas. I mean, basements, potential, stuff like that. Daniel Paul suggests getting a professional to flush all the water out of your sprinkler soon. He believes this week will mark the end of lawn watering season. I believe it is the end. I mean, as soon as the, the temperatures drop and, and you start shutting down the sprinkler systems, it, it probably is the end for, for the grass anyway. It's going to go dormant. Kicking off the unofficial start to winter. In West Jordan, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah.